can nothing stop Gyoko in right now. This crazy, psychopathic, mad woman is just on a freaking roll right now. She is there literally wrecking Judal, Hakuryu, and anyone else that stands in their way. And it's like, they literally just cannot beat her. <laughs> this is just how strong she is. So we even see at the start of the chapter, I just love how Judal just has to keep saying it. This bitch, this bitch is too strong. She's too fucking strong. Like, it's saying, yeah, you should have been a little bit more prepared. You, you two thought you had your little schemes and stuff ready and all that. And literally, Judal has to use his trump card immediately. And you see that, like, you know, he's got the eye as well, you know, from Alma Turan. He's like literally activating it and using his isolation magic, which is something that he stole from Morgama himself. So it shows you, along with my theory, that was great that he actually has taken a lot of his wisdom as well a lot of magic that he was working on a lot of the techniques and this one actually stopped all magic from inside and out actually penetrating or even getting in and this was draining and making sure that she couldn't use any of her magic at all like yo quite it's just like literally there, like beating the shit out of your mother which i'm pretty sure that you know, that can't be how Korea's mother at this point I, especially in this chapter what she did like that no Either that's just some very disturbing, creepy shit, or is that just like some body possessed or something? Because that is just not right with what Kyoko went doing. And she was like, saying, oh yeah, like I, I don't need my magic. And she takes a sword and tries to fight Hakari with that, and saying, yeah, I may have not be the uh, most powerfulest like magician. And I just love when you just see her Alma Turan like form behind her, but I was the strongest swordsman like that. And she just starts going in and she's loving it. She's loving every second of it. She's like there slashing and dashing and she's there. Like the one of my favorite panels is where she's like there attacking Hakuru doing like this jumping slash and she's laughing. She's generally enjoying herself. She is that fucking insane that she's generally loving slicing and dicing her fucking son. And she's like, just seeing Hakuri there, it's like saying, I will fucking kill you. Like that. And she literally kisses him. And this is the one that's just like the most terrifying of all the chapter. It's like when you see her and she's just saying, you know, she's happy that Hakuri was doing it and she has. They say, if anyone's ever seen the series known as Hungry Joker or something like that, then you know that a certain someone's brother, it like, literally has the same expression, and it's just like, Nasi Asu, and it's just like, Big Brother's come to see you, it's like, it's just so creepy, but this time it's like, Mother's come to see you, it's like, oh my god, this fucking bitch is insane, it's just like, it was absolutely just such this creepy face, like, it, like the darkish clown face or something. I, I don't know. She's literally on top of her son just saying, I'm so happy. And it was literally only just because of those two people that behind you, like, you know, that Hakuri passed. And it was like, okay, we're going to help you. It was like, we're going to actually make sure, you know, our future new emperor is okay. There's nothing I can say about it. I absolutely love these chances. It's crazy. But the problem is I haven't got that more, like, you know, theories or stuff or what's happening because... It's all being delivered there, and from what we've been spoiled about, like, already, it's like, we know what the outcome of this fight is. That's one thing that I felt like, you know, they could have easily done, say, you know, oh, shit, you know, Hakuru has become a new emperor. It's like, what happened to, you know, like, what happened to Gyokuen or something like that? And they say, well, dot, 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 and, you know, that's good how we could easily go, not just say, oh, she's dead. I mean, that brings a lot more impactful for that chapter, but then coming up with these ones as well, it's like, when we see this whole fight, which is an amazing fight, by the way, like, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this line. This shows as well that Gyoko, that cannot, like, be, like, Hakuryu's mother right now because, one, you're making out with your own son. That's just wrong in so many levels. She's insane, and she's just shown time and time again that she's just physically and mentally not fucking there. <laughs> she is not mentally there at all because she's an absolute psychopathic bitch. I mean, and this just shows how strong she is. She doesn't need magic and she's owning both Judal and Hakuryu. And now it's going to make it a little bit more different now that we've got these two other guys helping as well. So I'm very curious about next week's chapter, like what's going to be happening with that, like with 249s, seeing that, you know, is this actually going to be the thing that actually stops, like like yoga because they can't take down the isolation barrier no way if they take down the isolation barrier they're done they're done this has to be finished here where she can't use any magic and it's like are they gonna have like four people going into like they have to dial with his staff i can read with this like spear like you've got like these two guys as well with, like that giant axe and spear as well they got as well so yo let's have a whole fucking fight right now let's go have all these guys trying to take on 
freaking Yoquin. That's something I want to see. Like, and she's actually holding their, um, her own against these guys. That's something I want to fucking see. Other than that, this was another real good chapter. Really did enjoy it. Just creeped me out a bit, you know, with this chapter. So I'm definitely going to give this one a 8.5 out of 10. Really did enjoy it. But like I said, you know, it's it was kind of self-explanatory in this chapter. You know, it was just fighting, creepiness. And, you know, I it's just there's not that little sense of mystery with this, like, fight. Because, like I said, if there was another fight, I would be so excited. If I didn't know what was happening, I'd be like, well, he's saying, yeah, this is a nine. This is a nine and a half or something like that. But I know the outcome or the so-called outcome. So maybe it might mind fuck me. And then I'll feel really bad and not have to change the <laughs> the scores to these the nines and tens with these ones. But that's all for me. I want to thank you very much for watching as always. But remember, I'll see you guys next time.